everybody. My name is Matlin Sane. Thank you so much for joining me on day three of Science Week. I hope y'all are excited and ready for this super, super fun activity. Today, we're going to learn how ice cream works and we're gonna make ice cream in a Ziploc bag. All right, let's get started. For this recipe, you will need one tablespoon of sugar, half a cup of milk, cream, or half and half, a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, six tablespoons of salt. I have coarse sea salt here, and the ingredients do recommend to use some uh, salt with larger crystals. However, regular table salt will work. You need a gallon size Ziploc bag, a cork or pint size Ziploc bag, and you need enough ice to fill your gallon size Ziploc bag up halfway. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First step in making the ice cream is to fill our gallon size Ziploc bag up halfway with ice and then we're also going to add our six tablespoons of salt to our gallon Ziploc bag. Now what you will want to do is mix your ice and salt together really well. So set aside your ice mixture and we're going to use this later. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer. For the second step, you will want to pour your sugar, milk, and vanilla extract into a bowl or a cup like mine and mix it together. For this next step, you will want to carefully pour your mixture into your pint size or quart size Ziploc bag. Make sure to seal your bag really well. For this step, you want to go ahead and take your gallon size bag of ice out of the freezer and we're going to put our bag of milk, sugar, and vanilla extract into the bag of ice. Make sure that your milk mixture is deep in the ice. Okay? Also make sure your bag is sealed really well. Okay, for the second to last step, you'll wanna shake your bag of ice and milk mixture for about five or so minutes until the milk mixture is solid. I highly recommend using a towel to wrap around the ice, the bag of ice, because it's gonna be really cold. Just take all your frustrations out of the bag. Okay, so my milk mixture is pretty much solid. It's really, really cold. Um, so the next step, this is the best part, and this is the last step. It says to open your bag, grab a spoon, and put your spoon in the bag, and eat your ice cream. but really good. Mm. All right, while y'all are eating your ice cream, let's go over the science behind how ice cream works, especially when making it in a bag. So whenever we added the salt to our ice, what did that do to the ice? Think about whenever we add salt to ice roads um, during the winter season. What happens to those roads? 
So the salt lowers the freezing point of the ice. Now, why do we want to do that when we're making ice cream? So when we add the salt to the ice and we put our milk mixture in that bag of ice and we shake it around, what are we doing? We're causing friction. And what happens to the friction between the salted ice and the bag of milk? So the friction between the salted ice and the milk mixture causes the ice to absorb all the heat from your milk mixture and that's what causes the milk mixture to freeze. Isn't that so cool? All right, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed today's workout. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope y'all enjoyed today's project. I know I sure had fun and I had a good little workout. Okay, so go ahead and post a picture of your ice cream below. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the freezer. And also, you can always reuse your ice as an ice pack. So I'm gonna stick this in the freezer as well. All right, everybody, have a great day and stay safe. Bye.